Yeah, baby, baby girl. girl. Baby girl. I got a connection with baby girl. I have a cow named baby girl that we have a, we have a real connection. You have a cow? Yeah. Wow. Don't yeah. feed her to any raptors, please. <laughs> no, I won't. If I don't make it back, remember you're the one who made me come here. I'll be all right. So you guys, the park is gone, the dinosaurs are loose. How does that affect you guys in this movie? So, uh, great, greatly. Yeah. Um, <laughs> in a major yes. way. Yeah, the park being gone, the dinosaurs being loose is, uh, yeah, it definitely affects us. Um, yeah, no, I mean, our characters go back to the island because there's an extinction level event occurring on the island that's gonna wipe out all the dinosaurs and yep. we gotta save them. We gotta save them. She wants to save them. I kind of don't at first, but then I end up going because of her and because of my relationship with Blue. And uh, the movie takes off from there. Let's talk about Blue, because okay. Blue's our fave. Have you ever had an animal connection like you have had? Oh, oh, I, oh uh, you, you didn't finish. I thought, have I ever had an animal connection? But like like I've had with Blue, mm -hmm. where I raised them from being young and... Uh, baby yeah. girl, a little bit. Yeah, baby, baby girl, girl, baby girl. I got a connection with baby girl. I have a cow named Baby Girl that we have a, we have a real connection. You have a cow? Yeah. Wow, don't feed her to any raptors, please. <laughs> no, I won't. She's a Texas Longhorn. It, it wouldn't do, fare too well for the raptors. <laughs> and Bryce, you kind of went from seeing the dinosaurs as assets to really caring about them. Mm -hmm. How did that process come about for you? Well, in, in the first movie, Claire goes on a pretty significant journey. And like you said, in the beginning, she's, she looks at these at these animals as, as just assets. Um, and by the end of them, you know, she really, she really has reconnected with her own humanity and, and sees these animals for what they are. And, uh, and I kind of looked at that movie as sort of like, this was the birth of her activism. This is, she becomes an activist and she creates something called the Dinosaur Protection Group. And, and she is on a mission in this movie uh, to, to save these animals. So yeah, there's a, there's some dramatic irony in that, for sure. It's very tender. I loved it. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> if you guys could genetically engineer a dinosaur to be your own personal pet, is there anything that comes to mind, anything that you would have them do? What would you name them? Oh, man. They'd all have to always have a, a phone charger on them. <laughs> that'd be helpful. Yeah. They could fly. If they could fly, that'd be cool. Like, I, if I, I get like a the idea of being able to like ride on the back of yeah. a dinosaur. I which like, you did. Which yeah. I did. Yeah. I got, yeah. It's, this movie is just one long wish fulfillment. For me. It really feels like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it does. That's great. That's the dream as yeah. an actor. That's perfect. Yeah.